Many Stripe customers build integrations from applications hosted in their AWS accounts. There are a few common problems that can cause your production applications to behave unexpectedly. These issues often don't show up in development or testing and require rapid debugging to help your users. I'm going to show you Stripe's next generation debugging tools that make it easier and faster to find, understand, and resolve these types of problems. Let me show you what you can do with Workbench. Workbench is a browser-based tool in the dashboard that takes advantage of the logs that Stripe automatically generates for you. You can get to Workbench by navigating to dashboard.stripe.com in your preferred browser and logging into your Stripe account. Workbench reports and content are scoped to the account level. In the bottom right-hand corner of the browser, hover over the terminal icon to expand the menu, then select the caray symbol to open Workbench. The good news is that Workbench is not a browser extension and does not rely on CLIs or other tools on your development machine. So you can use it immediately without installing additional software. So why not just use your AWS logs to track down errors that occur in your third-party integrations like Stripe? Well, first, depending on the AWS compute you use, your logs may be in many different places. Lambda, for example, creates a new CloudWatch log file for each new execution environment, meaning for 10,000 invocations, you could have up to 10,000 logs to search. Alternatively, containerized services often store your application logs away from CloudWatch. Natively, AWS doesn't provide an easy way to search and filter across all of these logs, and the cloud provider also charges for log storage too, making it more expensive to store logs at scale. It's important to know that Stripe logs verbose details about your API usage every time you make a call. Whereas you typically pay for these application logs at cloud providers, Stripe doesn't charge you for storing this information. Some API errors will also be easier to debug at the API provider like Stripe because more information is available, making it a good place to start debugging. Workbench's graphs can help you identify aggregate problems in production, like throttling when you have too many requests. These might only show as individual 429 errors in your AWS application logs, but you can quickly see when this occurs visually in Workbench. It also has powerful filtering and searching to help identify the exact log you need quickly. When problems occur in production, resolution time really matters, and having fast, intuitive tools can help you nail those issues fast. Next, I'll show you a couple of specific issues that can be difficult to debug from your application logs, and how Workbench can make it faster and easier to find and resolve production integration problems. My name's James Bezik, and I lead the DevRel team here at Stripe. For more learning resources, visit stripe.dev, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.